Hello everyone! So, today I am gonna go to Jiugaoka and meet up with Kit to explore the area because I had to go there a few times for work before and um, I heard it's like inspired by a European town or something like that and there's this really awesome place with lots of sweets that I want to try out. And yeah, because I had to work there a little bit and every time I went there I didn't see anything interesting. I even wandered around a bit and couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna actually try and find it today. And I'm also dressed super princessy today because why not? I just felt like being fancy today and I'm not bothering doing anything with my hair because it's raining and it's just gonna get messed up. Now and I'm waiting for Kit and I think I'm really hungry so I'm gonna see if she wants to go to the sweets um, forest first. Wow, it looks so pretty inside already! Wow, oh, this is so cute! I guess this is the entrance. Whoa! So cute! Different little cafes. And you can choose. Whoa, wow. Whoa, that's so cute! Everything! Wow! Where should we go first? There's macarons. Are those- wait, is that actual food? Are they candles? I feel like it's a candle. It is a candle! It is a candle! Okay, I was about to order and eat that candle. I want macarons. Does someone have macarons? Oh, those cakes look really good, or pies. I guess that's just a sit-down area. <gasps> chocolate! Ah, chocolate! <laughs> Pretty colorful ball things. Whoa. <laughs> I got a parfait and guava juice. And what did you get? I got a strawberry shortcake cake. So cute. And ginger ale. Ginger ale, and they actually like made the ginger ale mm. too. So, we are finished now at Sweets Forest. That's what it's called, right? Sweets Forest. Yes. Yes. And now we are going to go to a camera store. Mm -hmm. Popeye's camera. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Lots of analog film, so let's check it. Yeah, I'm Wow, lots of fruit. Is it like a cafe kind of thing? Oh, there's fruit on the wall. So we're trying to find the area that looks like a European town and I think we found it already. This pretty pink building. Very Japanese. Very Japanese. Oh, oh, we found it. Whoa, this is so cool. I don't know why, but I imagine this was deeper and more like a real like river. Yeah. Wow. I bet this looks pretty at night with the lights on. Oh. We're not really sure why this exists. It looks a lot less um, like a real river than I thought it would. And yeah, it's really pretty. It's a good photo spot. There's lots of people taking pictures. <laughs>
Random dog house. Oh, if there were ducks, that would be cool. <laughs> it looks like maybe the boat's covered, but maybe on a non-rainy day, you can get in the boat for pictures, I think. There's like steps to get to it too. I don't think you can actually like sail in the boat though. Yeah, it's, it's like how deep is down. that? Yeah, and it doesn't go very far. This little river thing. A map of the area too, and I guess those are all the different shops they have too. Brains factory. I think that's the one right here. It looks like a juke. Wow. See, there's like little Italy, and then right here is Japan again. Mm -hmm. This building is so Japanese. See, this is really Japanese. You can go to Japan and Italy in the same day. Oh yeah, it looks like it's a little tea house. Yeah, a little Japanese style tea house. Wow. I am going with Maltegi to go see the band Fruits today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna film or not. I'm not really sure if I wanna like make this like a weekend vlog thing or make everything kind of a separate thing, but I have a lot of stuff planned for this week. I've already done a couple things for this weekend. Um, I have to do a lot of work-related things and I'm going to be traveling for work for the first time ever and I'm really well not the first time ever but the first time with this job and I'm kind of excited and a little bit nervous and then on the next weekend I have another work thing I'm nervous for so yeah this might be I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet but anyway I'm gonna go out tonight and I'm gonna have some fun and then I'm gonna have to pack and get ready for tomorrow then tomorrow I only have a morning meeting and I'm gonna go to a cafe a so this anime it's called Magical Do Re Mi in English. In Japanese it's called Ojama Jo Do Re Mi. I think that's what it's called at least. I never watch it in Japanese because I watched it when I was a kid and I didn't even know it was a Japanese thing at all when I was a kid. Like I knew I learned that Tokyo Mew Mew was Japanese, but I had no idea that this one was. Anyway, after my meeting tomorrow, I might go to Harajuku for a bit, then I might head there. Well, I'm definitely going to head there. I don't know about the Harajuku part. And yeah, so I'm going to head there to this cafe with my friend Sarah. I think you met her once before. And then after that, I'm going to be heading to Saitama, kind of near Kumagaya. The location, it's called Musashi Danzan, but we're actually staying in an onsen hotel that I remember seeing like when I was in the car with my boyfriend driving to Kumagaya we passed the sign for this onsen hotel and I remember always wanting to go to that onsen and that's where I'm actually staying like I didn't pick the place my work did so it's totally random strike of luck I get to go to this onsen near where I used to live in Kumagaya for free because of work so yeah this is gonna be a very eventful but also probably stressful but maybe in a good way week and yeah, I guess I told you like everything right away, but yeah, tonight I'm gonna go find Motegi and eat dinner first. So I'm gonna head to Ebisu now. See you later. I just got home from work and it is only like I don't even know what time but I got lucky and got done super early today yay anyway tomorrow uh, my work we're all me and blah, blah, blah me and my co-workers are going to have a party on a boat in Tokyo that's a thing apparently and we have to wear yukata so I'm really excited um 
I have three yukatas and two obis. Well, I have more obis, but they're made for like fancy kimono and I'm not exactly sure how you wear them or when, so I don't want to like wear them the wrong way. But actually, in Japan for wearing yukata and kimono, Japanese people actually don't really care. You can be creative with it for the most part, as long as you're not like being dumb. So yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> that aside, um, sorry, the lighting's changing. It's, I'm also in a good mood because it's like, the first time Tokyo's seen sun in weeks. It's been just raining and gloomy nonstop, and I hated it. But I've been in a good mood lately anyway. Work has been really good right now. I don't know. I'm just in a good mood, and I'm glad that I'm in a good mood, and I'm glad I get to hang out with lots of cool people tomorrow. And anyway, so today, since I finished work really early, I worked in a place I don't usually work. And so on the way home, I stopped, or I talked to one of my students' moms today, and because her daughter was wearing this really cute yukata and a cute little obi, it was of course made for kids, but I like got in a little conversation with her about it and she told me where she bought it. So she bought, um, there's a new yukata store that opened in, what is it called? Something Numa, Sagi Numa, Sagi Numa station. It's like right across from that station when you exit. There's like a shopping building with a grocery store on the first floor. If you go up to the third floor, there is a new yukata shop that just opened and because they just opened they're doing this kind of sale where not all but most of their yukatas are 500 yen that's like five dollars for a yukata but only one you can't just like buy 10 yukatas and get them all for 500 yen because that's what i was totally about to do but then she's like oh it's just one i was like oh okay but anyway they have really cute little obis too because i have three yukatas and two obis one of them is just like a plain dark pink and the other one's a really thick like it's a, I believe it's called a Nagoya obi and I got it when I was in Nagoya but it's a different kind and it's really hard to use I'm not sure the correct way to tie it I've worn it before because I really like the red contrast with all the blue ob uh, the blue yukata I have but and I also so blah, 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 I'm just like all over the place I had a lot of caffeine <laughs> but anyway um so I bought one yukata and three obis at the store and then Tomorrow, I don't know which ones I'm going to wear yet. I might not wear the new Yukata. I might wear my Liz Lisa one that I got last year because I really like that one. But I got some really nice obis that might match it. Because I want to have more different obis to mix and match with my three, four now <laughs> Yukata. So I'm going to show you what I got. And then, oh, let me just do that first. Then I'll keep talking. This is a bag. Um, I guess... The store's name is either Bankan or Wamonoya, or maybe, I don't know. But yeah, this is the bag that they gave me. I didn't really look at the name of the store. <laughs> and here is the yukata I got, because I there were some really nice pastel -y ones, and some of those like deep Japanese-looking prints and colors with like the darker ones, but I already have like a blue one. Hang on, I'll show you the ones I already have. I have there's this blue one with butterflies and then this purple one they're very Japanesey looking and dark and my really fancy pretty Liz Lisa one I wanted something really different than what I already have in this one I was just drawn to it I don't know why I don't particularly have a thing for pears or anything but like this is like opposite than any of the colors I already have and it's nice and bright I'm probably not going to wear this one tomorrow though because I was already planning on wearing the Liz Lisa one but who knows, I might change my mind last minute. Okay, before I show you my new obis, I'll show you the ones that I already have. First of all, it's just this one. It's just your typical dark pink, nothing fancy obi. Sorry, it's like wrapped around some of the other accessories and junk I was planning on wearing. I already have like the little tie strap things. So this one's one that I already have. And then I think this one's my Nagoya obi. I don't really want to pull it out right now. And then I have this really fancy one, but I don't think this is meant to be worn with yukata, so I have yet to wear it but I have a couple obis I just don't know how to wear them the Nagoya one's really difficult okay and on to the new ones this one is so pretty I didn't really actually want to get pink because I already have pink and I'm going to be wearing a pink obi t or no a pink um yukata tomorrow but this one's so sparkly and the other side is really sparkly so when you fold it over into the bow the little bit of sparkle will peek through and it was the sparkliest one there, so I got it. It was 1,500 yen. 
I think all of these weren't on sale. I think that was just a regular price. And they did have pricier ones there too. But I actually really like these ones. They're beautiful. Look at that detailing. Okay, then yellow is a color I really wanted because yellow is a big contrasty color and it'll contrast a lot with all the ones I already have. Um, and it's got a teeny hint of sparkle. I don't know. Oh, now you can see it. Yeah. And the roses. I really like this one. And it's a bit more simple than the other one. But I don't know. I just, I like yellow. It's so bright and happy. And it will go well with what I already have, too. When I told the lady I was going to get three obis and a yukata, she was, like, shocked. Like, what? Don't you just want one? Like, you can't decide which one? I was like, no. I want all three. <laughs> they were really nice, though. And I spoke Japanese with them a lot so I felt really proud of myself but yeah the ladies they were so nice okay the next is purple with a butterfly and some sparkles because I'm not exactly sure if the purple will actually match anything it would probably go with my Liz Lisa one if I accessorize it right so I might wear this one tomorrow or I could just go all pink with the pink one or decide to accessorize in yellow so all of these can work with my options for tomorrow but I'm so glad I have some more obis now they're all 1,500 yen, these ones. But yeah, this one, the other side isn't sparkly. Same with the yellow one. Just the pink one is like ridiculously sparkly. I'm not sure how long that sale is going on. This store is really new. Um, but even if there isn't a sale, those obis are really cheap. And they had the kind that have the pre-tied bows. They're a little more pricey. They're about like 3,000 yen, so like $30. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to be adventurous and figure out how to tie it myself. I used to know how when I studied abroad at Kinjo, we had a little like class demonstration where they taught us how to tie them. And every year, uh, well usually I have my boyfriend do it for me, but every year we both forget how to do it. So this year I'm going to try to do it myself because he has to go to school. And yeah, I'll probably videotape the process and I might connect it with this one too. I don't know how much video I'm going to do tomorrow at the party, but. All my co-workers will be in Yukata together, and I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I think I'm going to end this a little excited. Oh, no, wait. There's one more thing I got. Ah, I got this tie thing. I don't know what this is called, but I've seen lots of girls wear them on Yukatas. I thought they were meant to be for fancier kimono things, but I, I guess they're okay with Yukatas, too. And I even asked the lady in the store, like, is it okay to wear this with Yukata? And she's like, oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, this was a bit, well, actually, no, this one wasn't so expensive. This one, oh no, yeah, it was. These were like almost 2,000 yen each. But I really wanted at least one, and this color is a color that can easily match, like, every yukata and obi I have. And I really like the little pearly detailing. And I don't know what this is called. If you guys know, can you tell me? Actually, this kanji might be it. I don't know. I can't read it. I don't know what that says. Ah, oh, kanji. Someone help me. But yeah. Okay, so that's what I got. I'm not 100% sure which one I'm wearing tomorrow, but I'm going to videotape the process and probably videotape a little bit of the boat trip and the event and stuff. It's like no me hold I on a boat for two hours. I think it's a thing that anyone can go to and just all of my like um, co-workers are having our own little thing together. I think other people will be there too, like normal people. I don't think we like reserve the whole boat. I think it can hold like 700 people. We don't even have that many people, I don't think. But yeah, anyways, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm gonna start trying to put on this yukata first without looking at any video. I looked at a couple videos last night, so let's see if I remember how to put it on, and how to tie the obi without looking. And then if I fail or give up, I will look. Okay, so let's get this started. Okay, so here's the final bow. I watched, I think, two different YouTube videos, and then I just kind of went for it on my own. 
Actually, I did like this double bow thing here with the two layers. Neither of the videos had that in it, but I kind of figured it out by accident and went along with it because I thought it looked cute. I hope this holds. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it, except for this weird bit here that's doing something. I don't know, but yeah. Now, to turn it around to the back. Um, actually, no. Now I'm going to tie on that this pink cord. I'm not really sure how... Well, that goes in the front, I assume. And this part goes in the back, somehow. I think it's how it goes. Or maybe this part goes in the front. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna wing it with this one here. Alright, I think I'm ready. Uh, I put it all on by myself. Yay, my makeup's ready. And yeah, I'm ready to go. Perfect timing. I'm glad I started earlier than I thought I needed to because it took a long time to figure out this OB. <laughs> Yay! This looks cool. There's a lot of people waiting. Yeah, that makes sure.